I've been testing out the EcoFlow Stream and I think this is an absolute game changer for home solar, DIY solar, and also portable solar. This is so flexible, it can just be used for absolutely anything. You can see I've just added two home storage batteries to my existing setup, but this is also ideal for anyone who wants to just dip their toe into the water, they want to dabble, they want to experiment with solar before they go big. This is also great as an add-on system as I'm going to be doing. You can see I'm doing a little tester with a few panels. I've got a new array going up on the side of the house, so stay tuned. This video is going to be packed with information. We've got the little test rig here, which is kind of proof of concept and to test and see how this all works, work through the app, etc. So let me show you a little bit about it. These are just 450 watt standard panels. There's two of them. EcoFlow have sent me another two. You might have seen that already in the video. They're around the back of the house. Just standard MC4 cables. These come straight into the back of the Ultra here. Of course, I've got four MPPT, so I'm using two of them at the moment. And you can see it's currently charging the battery. That's what that light on there means. The AC Pro next to it, you can see is fully charged now. Of course, then I've got this connector lead that bridges the two batteries together. Sorry, it's this one to this one. So I've the solar from the solar it's fully charged the ac pro and we're on our way to nearly fully charging the ultra at the moment although it's two 450 watt panels we're getting about 700 watts from the pair of them which is great we've got some intermittent cloud and stuff um and of course this is connected in fortunately for me i have on my sunsync inverter i have a micro in inverter input and so I've been able to use the uh, original cable for the EcoFlow Ultra and just to get a competent electrician to uh, get that wired directly into the microinverter and just adjust the settings. So I can now choose on the app whether the DC panels are exporting straight to the grid, whether they are just covering a base load and whether they are charging these batteries. And so I've got all of those options available to me now in the software. So what does the EcoFlow Stream do differently to its competitors? This one is the AC Pro. So it has no solar input. It is just a battery with an AC inverter in it. You can plug stuff directly into it, or this can also be connected to the grid so that it can charge this and discharge it depending on your time of use tariff. Now this model is the Ultra. This has four MPPT inputs, so it effectively is a battery, an AC inverter, and then a micro inverter as well. So you can plug four solar panels in the, into this, around approximately 500 watt each solar panels. And the great thing with having four individual MPPTs is those panels can be facing any direction, any orientation, they can they all operate independently and this station will get the most out of them this setup works off grid it works on grid it's portable it's got convenient carrying handles each one of these battery modules is just under two kilowatt hours and i think for what you're getting the price is reasonable when you consider the price of this, that you're getting two kilowatt hours of battery storage, you're getting a micro inverter that can cope with four large solar panels up to about two kilowatts. It can be grid tied, it can be portable, it can be off grid, it gives you versatility. You can quickly unplug those connectors in seconds and you can walk away with this and you've got two full AC outlets on there. Apologies for the terrible camera work. If you don't need the four MPPTs of this Ultra version, then of course the AC Pro has no MPPTs, but there's also other versions where you can just get two MPPTs for two panels, or you can get three for three panels. They're really catering for everyone. And the great thing is, is if you're not gonna use four, then you're gonna save on the investment that you put into the product. For me, I'm going to use all four. You're going to see my new array that I'm putting up and why I needed four. And of course, all of these, they have a little uh, connection cable so that they all just kind of piggyback onto one another. Now, if you've used any EcoFlow products, you know that their app is just about the best in the business. And that is a big selling point by itself. Can your portable power station do this? 
connected into the mains so it can supplement the power in my house. It can charge from my home solar and Let's put the AC inverters inside these to the test. So I've plugged this toaster directly in. Might be slightly out of shot. Normal toaster. Okay, let's go in. And currently we are discharging the batteries at 910 watts. So not using anything from the grid. Okay, we need something more. This is my wife's hair dryer. Apparently this is a 2000 watt hair dryer. A solid two kilowatts being pumped out of these inverters without drawing anything from the grid. We need something more. We need to push this right up to its limit. I've plugged the car charger in. Let's see what it thinks of that. Switch on the AC switch. Well, the specifications say it can output 2.3 kilowatts, but we are putting out a constant 2.4, 2.38 kilowatts. No problem at all. If you're not aware of these EcoFlow stream devices, they are incredibly popular in Germany. And the reason is that people are saving hundreds and hundreds of euros over the course of a year by self-generating and consuming time of lower rate energy on a time of use tariff. So it's kind of a two prong attack. Either you wanna generate your own energy or you wanna be able to import cheaper energy overnight, store that energy, and then use it throughout the day so you're not paying a more expensive day rate. These are a cheap, cost-effective solution that can be installed very simply, very easily. And because they're easily portable, you can use them when you go away, or crucially, if you're planning to move, it's something you can easily take with you as well. There's so many upsides to this sort of system. I really think this could be a game changer. So EcoFlow have been in the business for a long time. They're coming up for 10 years now. Very well respected, very well known. Officially, they call the Stream Series a solar plant or a plug and play solar plant. We're not quite there in the UK. Our regulation is lagging behind some of our neighbours across the European Union. In Germany, this is very popular. They call it balcony solar. It's ideal for people who live in flats or rented accommodation where it might be a lot easier to install, a lot easier to remove not permanent just you know plug and go and modular systems they can start small and build as funds and time and resources allow i've been showing you the kit that i've got here i've got one ultra unit i've got one ac pro unit but they have so many other options two panels four panels they have various sizes bigger smaller solar panels whatever you can accommodate they also have the different bundles that include micro inverters they've got tables here to help you choose which would be the most beneficial for you there's just so many choices and very simple quick and easy for anyone to put one of these kits together and start saving money on the energy that they are consuming this is just coming brand new to the market in the UK. They are having a flash sale for an introductory offer. That's why I've kind of rushed this video. I want to get it out to you guys because I know that this offer is going to be ending soon. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to know about the EcoFlow stream? In my next video, I'm going to do a much deeper dive into exactly my installation in my home, my new solar panel array. I'm going to be jumping into what are the UK regulations? Why are they holding us back? But what are EcoFlow doing? to accommodate those UK regulations, stay on the right side of the law, but at the same time, save people money generating clean, green energy in their own homes. If you've already got a micro inverter and you've already got a system like that, but you want to add some home storage battery to it, that's no problem at all. All of the EcoFlow Stream battery modules are compatible with micro inverters. Now you could, in theory, daisy chain six of these battery modules together, giving you 11.52 kilowatt hours. And each one of these modules has a 1200 watt bidirectional inverter. That means it can charge from the grid at 1200 watts or it can push the power from the battery unit back into the grid at 1200 watts. Of course, if you've got any appliances directly plugged into any battery module, then they will be able to receive 2300 watts directly from that battery. With energy prices being so high, this is an easy, simple, quick way to invest some money to help you save in the future.
And the great thing is, if you're planning to move in a year, two years, three years, and you're worried about ever getting the money back from what you've put into a solar panel system on your home, you don't need to worry with this. You can set these panels up on a fence. You can set them up on a patio. There's so many different fixing solutions that EcoFlow bundle in together with their panels. Because of the intelligent way that EcoFlow have designed this system, they have taken a leap beyond what these other plug-in solar panel systems are capable of. These balcony solar systems that are very common in the EU, they all have this 800 watt limitation. But of course now by putting AC sockets directly into these batteries, that allows you to use far more than the 800 watt limit. So you can power pretty much everything in your home. If you really want to go crazy on top of the 11.52 kilowatt hours of battery storage, you could in theory have 12 kilowatt peak of solar panels on your roof. There's some really sophisticated software working behind the scenes with the app and the EcoFlow servers. They're able to calculate a lot of figures that would take a long time in a spreadsheet to typically figure out. Of course, it would be negligent of me not to mention that this does integrate nicely with Octopus Energy. Solar forecasting and storm forecasting all available there in the app. Now this, I think, deserves its own dedicated video. What is really the situation in the UK with these kind of systems? In the next video, I'm gonna show you the smart meter monitoring, energy monitoring hardware, and their smart plugs. I'm gonna show you specifically how those work how this is all made legal and above board in the UK and how we can comply with the regulations and still save a considerable amount of money. It comes with a 10 year warranty and 6,000 cycles on the battery, which is plenty. That's pretty much two full cycles per day for the full 10 years. And even then, when it gets to that point, we would still have the vast majority of the battery capacity still be functional and available. Thankfully, these units don't have any fans on them. They've got big, beefy heat sinks on the back, as you saw earlier in my video. So they are passively cooled and they also heat themselves in the winter. So it doesn't matter how cold it gets, down to minus 20 degrees, they will self-heat to keep the cells in the best working range. So of course, we've got IP65, water resistance and dust resistance. So th this can be used outdoors as well. All of the plugs, the AC sockets and the MC4 connectors for the solar panels, all of them have rubber plugs. So you do, in theory, have full water and dust protection. You'll find a couple of YouTube shorts on my channel talking about what's in the box and showing you all of these individual components. But this is the one here that is specific to the UK. In other markets, this will come with a normal wall plug socket on there, you know, a three pin socket plug on the end so they can plug that straight in. For the UK, it comes with bare, unterminated wires so that that demonstrates to you this is really kind of the first unit anyway is for professional installation of course as you add other battery modules to that or the solar side of things all of that is diy friendly i'm going to put some links in the description for you guys to learn some more about this thank you for watching as always like comment subscribe see you on the next video goodbye